Bishop John passed away peacefully in his sleep on the morning of Wednesday the 10th of November 2004. He was born on Christmas Day of 1922 to Hugh and Mary Ann Mahan of Kin Tullamore in Ireland. His was a big family and a happy one. They were not well off, but they were never hungry during those very difficult times in Ireland. In 1941, he joined the Kiltegan Fathers and was ordained a priest in 1948. After spending from 1959 to 1967 in Nigeria, he arrived in Kenya in 1968 to become the Apostolic Prefect of the newly created Apostolic Prefecture of Lodwar. But the beginning of the church in Trocada is bound up with the big famine of 1961-62, when, as far as we know, thousands and thousands of these people died of hunger. And the church was allowed into Turkana. I might say that prior to this, Turkana was a closed area, and no people, no outsiders, were allowed to live in the yoga special permission. An evangelical sense of urgency impelled him and other missionaries to reach out to the suffering population of Trukana and to proclaim the Lord's year of favor. He set out establishing and organizing, building and educating, curing and healing, planting and feeding, drilling laying the foundations of the church in Lodi. But it's hard to do it to the future. Hmm? I mean, what will be there? Suppose we educate, and we are educating a lot of Turkanas. They're not going to be content. But they boys have gone through the secondary school system. They're not going to be content with starving every day to get up. And who blames them? They're going to demand something to eat. How they're going to get it, I don't know. Uh, some people would blame us for our educational policy. They would say that we are creating problems, that we are make, going to make life difficult for our colonists in the future because we're creating needs which can't be met. In the short term, that may be true. But in the long term, the Turkana people are not going to be satisfied with, with, their, with what their fathers and mothers have put up with. They're not going to continue to be starved to death. They're not going to continue to be producing children that are going to be brain damaged because they have nothing to eat. But I thank God today that what I came here to do has, in large measure, been accomplished. I am very pleased to note that our Turkana people have come to hear the good news. Africa has been very good to me during the last 30 years since I came to Turkana. God has given me good health. He has given me many good friends. He has enabled me to work in this area. For this, I thank the people of Turkana, who welcomed me and who shared, who are prepared to listen to the message that I am bringing to them. And now that so many of your young people have gone to school and have prepared themselves for living a life after school, they are now accepting the challenge to make Torcala a better place for all of us to live in. We remember you, John Mahon, not only for what you have done for us, 
but also for what you have been to us all. A friend, a brother, a father, a shepherd. And we know that from heaven you will continue caring for us here in Trukam. And may Almighty God grant your soul the eternal rest that you so desire.